I've done wrong in my life. This is one of them. <laughs> Always try and leave yourself quite a big headspace in case it foams over, i.e. this is what happens. I need to buy some more lids now. I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> and it's distilling day. Again, 0 0.900 that fermented out to, which is pretty dry. Giving me a calculated reading of 25% or around about. I don't think it's that percentage. Uh, I had a taste of it. It's probably around the 12%. I think because there's little floaty things floating around in the wash that it's, it's thrown off the hydrometer. <coughs> Either before or after, I, I don't know. But anyway, I've chucked it in the boiler here. This is my still. It's a combo still. I'm going to do pot or reflux. I've, I've had it built in a way that I, later on down the track I can put in plates and other things that I, I want to do or add to it. Today we're just going to do one pot run. Uh, so what I've done is, for the first time I've never done this before, in theory it should work. Uh, tell me in the comments below if I'm an idiot, but hey, it is what it is. In this column here, I've left the column on. It's normally this section up here is down on the pot. I've left this column on today because I want a little bit more passive reflux when I'm doing the uh, pot run, just to clean it just slightly, uh, keep, keep the flavors in there. And I've also put one scrubber in there. The theory behind that is I don't have bubble plates, so I am going to leave one scrubber in. It's not packed tightly. Um, to act technically as a bubble plate. So we'll see how we go. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, so well, let's get to it. three hours and we're getting towards the end getting towards the tails now I think it's still pretty nice it's starting to taste a little bit like a, a well-cooked plum still got a bit of caramel in there a little bit of citrus too which is a bit weird but um yeah it's quite nice we'll um keep this running into the tails I think we're hitting about 55 percent at the moment we're on jar number 15. So, keep going in the tails and see what we can find. And this is the end result. 18 jars of really good stuff. It's a mix between a rum and a brandy. A randy, you might even say. Started off nice and hot. Rum, banana -y, smells, burnt caramel. Uh, in the heads uh, and as we went through into the hearts it was like a nice like dried fruit caramel rummy vanilla dark plums all that type of good stuff throughout the hearts uh, I've added all that to in into the pot and then we got into the back end which was giving us a little bit lighter stuff some some plum seed type flavor but not a bad bitter one but a couple of jars later as you can see there the, it got really bitter cardboardy and not very nice i've had that all together it's given me 1.5 liters of 65 percent which i've put to the side and 
I added the rest, I ended up with 55, uh, four liters of 55% brandy, which I'm gonna age uh, on some American oak for a fair while, I think. So all in all, quite bloody good. I'm gonna do a little taste test at the end of this video, but we'll move on to the wine now. And here's the final wine product. The wine in this case ended up fermenting down to 1.020, which is a little higher than I would like. It's a fair bit sweet still. That being said, it's sitting at about 15% ABV, so not too bad. I uh, did some calculations and I'm gonna add about 1.5 liters of brandy to the overall. Um, and give us about 16 litres of 20% fortified wine, uh, which should be all right to age for quite some time. We'll chuck some staves in there as well uh, and let it sit. But yeah, I think we've done all right. I think we might go on to the tasting now. Eh? That's pretty much all you need to know. All right, it's been a month since the eruption almost destroyed my front room, but we got there. We got there in the end. We strained out all the wine. We've put it into the fermenter. I've added 1.5 liters of 60% brandy to the overall 14.5 liters of plum wine. And that's given me 20%, 16 litres of 20% plum wine that's been fortified. So a fortified plum wine. And this is it here. This is the end result. I don't know if you can see that right there. But that colour right there is banging. I'm going to have a taste. A little sip. Yeah, let me tell you, if you like fortified wines, <coughs> you're going to love this. This is really, really nice. Very fruity, quite sweet at the beginning, and then towards the end you feel a little bit of a burn. The warmth of the, the brandy come through, and this is just going to make you jolly. It really is. It's going to make you jolly. Uh... It's a good time. It really, <laughs> for something I've just thrown together, I'm very, very happy with it. And I think the people I give this out as a gift to at Christmas time, they're gonna, they're gonna feel pretty happy about it as well. I think so. That's the that's the fortified wine. Very, very good. Now, I'm gonna move on to the main man. 55% plum brandy. I've watered it down just slightly to about the 40% mark. This has come out better than I expected as well. It's very fruity, rummy. Uh, and yeah, it's very, very smooth smelling, very caramel, very dried fruit. It's, it's quite nice. I do like I, I, I don't know if it's been coined before, but I do like the word randy because it's rum and brandy. And frankly, it's hilarious. And I'm going to keep using it and I don't care if it's been used before because it's funny. <laughs> so we're going to have a sip and we'll see how we go. Yeah, so starts off with a lot of rum, a lot of, a lot of caramel, and then slowly, slowly turns to dried fruit, plum, fruit, buttery. It really reminds me, and it smells very much like a Christmas pudding, which I'm all about, especially during winter. So that is...
That is cracking. Absolutely fantastic. I'm very, very happy with these two things. Give it a whirl. Let me know in the comments below what you think. You can swear at me. You can tell me I'm an idiot for not leaving enough room for head because we all know we need a little room for head all the time. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know. Anyway, leave a comment in the section below. Like the video. Share the video. And I'll see you next time on Thunder and Lightning. Oh, yeah.